Praise the Lord. Good morning. Let's listen to today's devotional by Pastor Benedict James. Greetings in the most wonderful and blessed name of Jesus Christ. Today's topic Reconciliation and Peacemaking Acts 9:27 Barnabas told the apostles of how Saul encountered with the Lord and his courageous preaching of Christ in Damascus. We have noted two of the great Indian cricketers Sunil Gavaskar the most respected person as a cricketer and commentator and the present great batsman of this era Virat Kohli had a spat in the open when the commentators raised the inability of raising the strike rate by Virat Kohli in the recent IPL matches Gavaskar commented it is their job and the commentators have right to discuss and pass verdicts on players without any bias On hearing these comments Virat Kohli instead of making the bat to talk he reacted for which Gavaskar expressed Kohli should not have reacted both had their difference of opinion and a strained relationship these war of words between the two had a massive uproar on social media where Kohli fans began attacking Gavaskar instead of instead of supporting one person and provoking another which happens normally one of the most respected person in the cricket wasim akram who is also one of the greatest all-rounder the world cricket had said good words about both of them and praised both of them in the media as great world cricketing players it is pure words of encouragement and reconciliation He further said in the future both will move in quickly while Wasim Akram stopped the rut for the damage and restored calmness and peace between the two warring parties that's exactly his reconciliation about diffusing friction and bringing in peace offering an olive branch now we'll focus on Barnabas the reconciliator peacemaker encourager and a perfect guy from the book of acts 9th chapter We see in this chapter when Paul after his conversion Saul or rather after his conversion first came to Jerusalem to meet the apostles they refused to take him as a disciple knowing how he persecuted the followers of Christ Acts 9:27 we read we see how Barnabas stood with Paul and explained to the apostles how Saul encountered with the Lord Jesus on the way to Damascus and his bold preaching of Jesus He made Saul comfortable and reconciled him to the group and made him part of the apostles group or the disciples group. Barnabas here used his name and his good relationship with the apostles to speak up for Saul when no one wanted Saul. Every Christian has to grow progressively. No one is exceptional. No one reaches 100% in this world. But it varies depending on the individual's obedience and faithfulness here at this stage barnabas has been a great mentor and a guide and encourager to saul who had been still at the infant stage of christian life paul fumbled not to give a second chance to john mark who failed in the first missionary journey who went back in between but here we see when paul or saul refused We see matured, more matured and more seasoned and more righteous person than Saul at that time. He encouraged John Mark and took with him and mentored John Mark. And John Mark grew under Barnabas' leadership and he went on to write the gospel according to Mark. How many times you become a peacemaker, creating warmth, encouragement and peace among two rival persons or two varying groups. in a friendship in a family in the office or in the church or how many times you have instigated provoked and gossiped to be a peace breaker and a character assassin let's be that kind and warm hearted and peacemaker and encourager like wasim akram and barnabas diffusing friction and bringing in people together
Thank you Lord for the blessed life of Barnabas who has showed a true and great Christian living by mentoring, encouraging, almost pastoring and standing with Saul when he was left alone, rejected by the apostles. Help us to be people builders, to be peacemakers and not peace breakers in this world. In Jesus' sweet name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's devotional. God bless you. Have a blessed day. And always remember, Jesus loves you and cares for you.